this what you want? Do you want to see your family watch you suffer? Because <laughs> I don't. I don't want to watch them. It hurts me. And when you're sitting out there and you can be healthy, you can stop. You can find a better way. I don't have the option. You know, it has become a trend where people are praising people are doing wrong things. And someone will ask me, how are they praising them? I'll give you an example. Just go to social media. If you go on social media, check most of videos that is trending. Those videos, they have nothing, nothing that concerns good moral. Most of them, I'm not saying all of them, but most of them, just try to post something that has no any moral on it. You will find, see how many views and all that. People, they will share, but people are not ready to share something that's bringing morals or talking about good values. I saw this video and I want to talk about this video that I saw on TikTok. And um, uh, I know this particular topic I want to talk about it has been an issue in the world. And I know maybe you are watching this video, you are going through the same thing, or you are about to get yourself in this. But I hope today this video is going to help you to not put yourself on that, or it's going to prevent you by damaging your life. Before I continue talking, I want you to watch this video. The more we let these things continue, or the more we don't talk about these things, people are damaging their lives and they are dying. So it's better we save them now. And now, as I'm saying, I'm talking. So watch this video of this girl and see what happened to her. Then we'll come back and talk. Is this what you want? 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 Is this what you want every day? That, that's what you want right there? When I tell you to put down that vape, put down that cigarette, put down that alcohol, stop ruining yourself when you don't have to. Because I wish, I wish I was you. I wish I didn't have to watch my family. I didn't have to watch me suffer. Watch me be in sadness, depressed, trauma. Is this what you want? Tell me. Because I hate to see us generation ruin our bodies. And I just want to make it awareness. Is this what you want? Do you want to see your family watch you suffer? Because I don't. I don't want to watch them. It hurts me. And when you're sitting out there and you can be healthy, you can stop. You can find a better way. I don't have the option. It's done. And now everybody just has to sit and watch me. Do you want to lose a part of yourself that makes you feel the most beautiful? Do you want to lose that? Listen to what the Bible say. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 to 9. The Bible says this. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever saw to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life. Let's get another verse, then we'll get in deep into our topic. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. This is what the Bible said. Do you know that your body are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. 
You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Reason why we're having so much young people dying and we are dying over the same thing, alcohol, drugs and all that. I think it's because human beings, we don't want to listen. What do I mean about we don't want to listen? So many times, just look at all these people who put themselves in alcohol addict and all that. They keep on telling you, don't take alcohol. These things is not good for you. Especially smoking. They even say smoking is bad for your health. But you still go ahead and smoke. You still go ahead and have the alcohol. Because of what? You don't want to listen. You don't want to listen. You reach, we reach this point of being abused, alcohol abuse, all that, because of our self-lack of listening. You don't listen to people when they are telling you, no, you see these things really bad, don't take this alcohol, don't take this drug because it's going to damage your life, you'll be okay, oh yeah, I'm young and that, oh I have to test, I, have to, I don't want to be old. Because in this generation, it's like, if you don't do certain things, you're considered being old, not being living a good life good morals has nothing to do with going to church first you have to know that good morals has nothing to do with things to go to church you can be going to church or not but you have to you need to have a good morals like not drinking alcohol has nothing to do with going to church has nothing to do with being a christian though being a christian your body is a temple of Christ. You have to protect your body at all costs. Certain things you have to do it, you don't have to do it. Things like taking alcohol because that's what's destroying your body. When you, the Bible is saying your body is a temple of Christ. So smoking, alcohol, drugs, as a Christian you can't do it. Why are you not doing it? Because your body is the temple of God. It's the temple of God. Based on just that understanding, it's already a way or it's it's giving you the light to say, this is what you are and this is not what you are. And because your body is a temple of God, you have to keep it and protect it. So, for everyone else who is not a Christian, whether you're a Christian or not, listen to me. Your life, your health, decision that you make for your health, it depends on yourself. Don't blame other people when you find yourself in a situation where you get sick because of your lack of listening. When you reach a point where you are sick, the people who are refusing, they are telling you, don't take this. They will be the one taking you to the hospital because you won't be able to take yourself. They are telling you now, stop. You don't want to listen. You are watching this video, probably you have your bottle of alcohol in your hand. You are watching me and you are telling me, okay, this one is another one is trying to judge us. I'm not trying to judge you. I'm just trying to tell you, stop the alcohol because you will end up like this one. She's now regretting why she didn't listen. Why? Because she's already in that position. So if you're not in this point, it's better for you to stop. What do you get on that? Nothing. You are destroying your life. You are shortening your lifespan. Do you really want to live a destructive life? You want to live your life that is damaged. You want to live your life that's going to be from hospital to hospitals. You want to live a life that's going to be giving others pain. You don't want to live that kind of a life. The time is now to stop. Stop now. Because the more deeper you get into drugs and alcohol, the more difficult it becomes for you to get out. So if you just started, it's time for you to stop. Go and read the statistic of how much alcohol has caused death, distractions in our countries. People have become unproductive, especially in Africa. Do you really want to remain in such a position? Is that what you are? Is that what you want for your life? There are so many better things to do. In fact, Christ has given you his life for you to be saved. Are you going through addictions? The only way out is to give your life to Christ.
to give your life to Christ. It's going to help you to get out of that addiction. You are not yet. You are trying to start. Don't start. Don't go that way. Alcohol has nothing good for you. It will destroy your life. You will become a problem to your family. You know these things. It's always nice when you start. When you are you're having those alcohol and those drugs and those smoking. You are saying, okay, nothing's happening. I'm telling you. You are taking yourself bit by bit in that hole which you are not going to be able to get out. The time to get out is now. And that decision you have to make it by yourself to say, I have to stop. And when you decide to stop, God will empower you to stop. I'm doing this video not to judge any one of you, but to tell you the path that you are following is going to destroy your life. And if you don't listen to me, you don't to listen to other people are telling you, or you are a child or whatever in the home, they are telling you, no, this you have to stop and that you don't want to stop. One day, this video, when you watch it after two, four years and regretting, you say, okay, I watched this video. He spoke about this and I didn't want to listen. But I don't want it to be late for you. This is the time to stop the alcohol, to stop smoking because it's not taking you anywhere. Christ has given his life for you and you are saved. He has given his life to save you. By accepting Jesus as your Savior and Savior, you are saved. Saved from all these drug addictions, saved from alcohol addictions, saved from any abuse. So, the time is now. Do you want to destroy your life? Do you want to damage your life? If not, this is the moment for you to stop. This is the moment for you to follow Christ. This is the moment for you to make a decision that you have been not making for so many years. A decision that has been difficult for you to make. I'm just here to remind you that your life is precious. Jesus cannot leave heaven to come on earth to die for a life that is useless. If your life was useless, Jesus couldn't do that. You are not a useless human being. Some of you, you started becoming alcohol abuse because people are telling you, no, you are a useless person, you can't do anything, and you decided to start taking alcohol to drag yourself because of the statement of people are telling you. You are not what people are saying you are. You are what you think of yourself. Not what people are saying you are. You are what you think of yourself. What are you thinking of yourself? If you think you, 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 are, you are nobody, you are useless, then you are going to be useless. And when people they will tell you you are useless, they are just going to confirm the statement that's in your heart. But God died for you, meaning you are precious. And the Bible said, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. How precious is your body? Because if your body is the temple, that's the church, it's the temple of the Holy Spirit. Meaning that body is so precious. That body is so valuable. And why would you destroy your body for the things that doesn't do anything for you? The time to stop the alcohol abuse in Africa, in the world, it's now. And that starts with you. Share this video. Let it reach someone. Because Jesus loves you, no matter what. And for some of you, you have already get into the abuse. Some of you has already entered the abuse. You've reached that point where you say, I don't know how to come out. I'm here to tell you, Jesus is the way out for you. Jesus is the way out for you. He's the only way out for that situation. You have a daughter, you have a son, you have anybody who has reached a point where they can't live without alcohol, they can't live without smoking, they can't live without having that drug. Jesus is the way. There's no any other way out of sin. Jesus is the way. He is the way. And today I brought Jesus to you. In your house, in your bedroom, wherever you are, I brought Jesus to you. Jesus is the way. The only thing you have to do is to accept him as your 
saying and your savior as your father he has paid all the price to save you and if you believe you'll be saved and saved now please drugs is not your portion is not who you are you are not an abuser you are not you are not your change is now decide to change choose jesus and choose him now choose the good path choose good morals choose it now choose a good life and choose it now may god bless you